Okay, folks. All right, Bismillah. Okay, folks, welcome back to another video by myself, Mr. Michael. Okay. Today we're going to be looking at Math Watch Clip 149, Grade B questions. This is to complement the work I was doing with my students uh, who were doing the Grade C version of these similar shapes topics. We were looking at similar length. In this particular video, I'm going to go from the grade C question and complement with the grade B question which involved area and volume. Okay, let's have a look at this topic then. Bismillah. Right. First of all, question number one. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So here's ABC, here's PQR. We've been told that the area is 24 centimeters squared of this one. So I'll put that inside for extra emphasis. Okay. The area of the triangle is this. Calculate the area of the triangle PQR. Now, as we mentioned in the previous video, that the we have certain formulas, rules that we need to follow. So let's go through those rules again. We have the area of the original multiplied by the Scale factor squared will be equal to the area of the knot. Okay. Right. Area of the original times by the scale factor squared equals area of the knot. So we're going to be using that particular rule now in this particular in this question. I'm just going to rub that off and write a bit slightly further away. It's actually crashed onto the question. I'll write on top of here. So area of original times by the scale factor equals area of enlarged. Area... Sorry. Pardon me. Okay. This is called the area of the original. This is the area of the enlarged. Now let's look at the measurements now. So at the moment we need to work out first of all we need to establish the scale factor. So we look at this length here. I'm going to call this my length original. And this is going to be called my length enlarged. From these corresponding sides we can work out what the scale factor is initially. So then we use the, the form that we used in the previous video. Length of the original time by the scale factor equals length of the enlarged. Okay. When we're doing a length calculation, the scale factor is to power 1 by itself. When it's an area, 1 is squared. And when we move on to the next question, the volume will be cubed. So let's look at this now. So we have 6. And the scale factor. And then we have 9. Okay. Now, if you want to work out the scale factor, the scale factor has been multiplied by 6. It's been acted on by time by 6. So the opposite of time by 6 is divided by 6. So you have 9 divided by 6 is 1 and a half. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. In this next part of the question here. Okay, we first of all worked out the scale factor by considering the lengths. Now we look, we're moving back onto the area now of this particular question here. So we said the area of the original, which is 24. Time by the scale factor squared. The scale factor we just worked it out is 1.5. So 1.5 squared. And that will give you the answer of what we're looking for for the area enlarged. So this is the calculator question. So we have 24 times by 1.5 squared equals 54. 
So that's the answer to that question for question number one. Okay, folks, so in this particular question, we had to work out the area of the large shape. We couldn't work out straight away because we didn't have the scale factor. We worked that out by looking at the corresponding lengths using the length formula for, scale for similar shapes. After we established the scale factor from that, we then plug that in into the formula we need for this question, the area of the original, divided by the scale factor squared, because they were enlarged, put all the values in, 24 went in here, scale factor went over here and squared it, and that gave us the answer there. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on.